Hi everyone and John and welcome to Up Electricity. Now I'm talking about car battery voltage. If we wish to talk about car battery voltage, we can talk about two different ranges of voltage. The range of voltage when the engine doesn't run and the range of voltage when the engine runs on. Okay, a uh, battery is 100% charged when the voltage measured at its terminals is between 12.7 and 30.1 volts. Uh, so the battery doesn't connect to the electrical system. However, the voltage at the terminals should have these values after the engine has been switched off, but if the battery is defective or there is a leakage current in a piece of electrical equipment, the voltage drops after a few hours or days below the voltage of 12.7 volts. This car uh, is a Chevrolet Spark 2010 with 995 cubic centimeters and to measure this voltage I must disconnect the minus wire of the electrical uh, installation from the battery and now I'm losing this screw okay and I'm connecting my voltmeter to the terminals of the battery in this manner red probe test of the voltmeter to the positive terminal of the battery and black test probe of the voltmeter to the negative terminal of the battery. I'm selecting uh, DC voltage and you can see here 12.9 volts. Okay, it's a good voltage for this battery. Okay, you can see. Now, referring to the voltage when the engine runs on, more information about car battery say the voltage measured on the terminals when the engine is running is between 13.8 and 14.4 volts. From my point of view, the most qualified answer is given by the service manual or the alternator technical data sheet. Each car has a service manual wherein the chapter referring to the electrical system, the manufacturer gives the voltage range at the terminals of the battery and the switchable engine speed. The repair service manual is intended to provide information about how the car can be repaired, mechanical and electrical systems, and the owner's manual is used by the driver to know how to use the car and how and when to do the maintenance. Cars generally have the voltage to the battery terminals between 13.8 and 14.4, but can be some exception when they manufacturer raises the values to 14.7, 14.8 volts. Now I need to tighten the screw to fix the cable to the negative terminal of the battery. Okay, and I'm starting my engine to the idle speed uh, around 800 RPM. Okay, I'm starting. I'm connecting my voltmeter in the same manner. Okay, I'm selecting DC voltage and you can see 14.5 volts, 14.6 volts. Okay, it's a 
good voltage for the electrical system, for alternator and battery. Okay, now I'm raising the speed of the engine uh, around uh, 3000 RPM. See the voltage, it's 14.6 volts, it's a good voltage, and now I am switching on the lights and heating system. voltage drops with uh, 0 0.1 volts it's okay for electrical system Okay, you can see um, the voltage uh, depend on the electrical uh, equipment of the car. We saw a low voltage fluctuation at the terminals of the battery. When I switch on the lights, the voltage drops of 0.1 volts and it's a normal full voltage. With um, different electrical equipment, lights, air conditioning or hitching system in operation, the dropping voltage should not exceed 0 0.5 volts. The voltage of 15 uh, volts is dangerous for the car battery. If this um, voltage is measured, there is a problem in the alternator typically at the voltage regulator that in uh, modern cars is incorporated into the alternator okay if you enjoy this video please like or share with your friends or subscribe thank you for watching and see you soon